தமிழ் கோர்வை சேனல் சார்பாக அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் என் பெயர் கண்ணதாசன் டுடே லெட் அஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஓவியோல்ஸ் பிஃபோர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த ஓவியோ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஓவியோல்ஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ ஃப்ளவர் ஸோ தட் வி ஆர் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஓவியோல் வெரி ஈஸிலி ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃப்ளவர் ஹியர் யூ கேன் சி த பார்ட்ஸ் த சப்டக்கல் ஆன் விச் த ஃபோர் வேர்ல்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ ஃப்ளவர் இஸ் ஆர் ப்ரெசன்ட் the outermost world is the calyx followed by corolla third world androecium male reproductive structure fourth world gynoecium female reproductive structure it consists of a important uh, structure that is called as ovary within which the ovules are present this is the ovule the ovule is going to become the seeds in future parts of a pistil it consists of the stigma the stigma to receive the pollen grains the pollen grain germinate and form pollen tube through the style you see the style then it enters into the ovary then it enters into the ovule to deliver the male gamete so that the ovule can become the seed so these are the ovule present inside the ovary the structure of a typical ovule it is also called as megasporangium typical ovule is the, that is the ovule is also called as megasporangium in order to understand the types of ovule the following structure we are going to study they are funiculus helum ray chalasa nucellus integuments embryo sac and micropyle these are the structures which we should know very important in order to understand the types of ovules without which if you study the types of ovule you cannot understand anything properly so these are the structure one by one we are going to discuss first one is the integuments of the ovule so it is the outer covering it is the outer covering you see the entire ovule is covered by there are two parts of the ovule one is the body of the ovule and the other one is its stalk so the entire ovule body is covered by the integument okay so there may be one in two integument or one integument if one integument unitegmic ovule two integument bitegmic ovule next one is funiculus you just remember with the word called as stalk stalk of the ovule stalk of the ovule right so that is called as funiculus so two parts of the ovule one is the body and another one is a stalk okay so through funicle the body attaches with the placenta you see here attaches the ovule to the placenta next one is helum and rape you see the point of attachment of the funicle to the body of the ovule is known as helum so this is the point of attachment of the funicle with the body of the ovule and adnate to the body of the ovule so the funiculus is adnate to the body of the ovule it forms a ridge you see it forms a ridge it is called as the ridge is called as rape the ridge is called as rape and this is the funiculus and this is the helum right so and other structure we will be discussing in future now uh, the point of attachment i told you next one is the new cells this is the new new cells the bulk of the ovule is made up of new cells it is the reserve food material central mass of parenchymatous tissue called new cells which has a large reserve food materials for what for the development of the embryo for the development of the embryo sac as well as the embryo next one is the micropyle we already discussed about the ovule you know that ovule uh, that is uh, discuss about the integument you see the integument is not continuous at one place it is having a pore opening that is called as micropyle actually through which the pollen tube enters into the ovule next uh, chalaza chalaza is the point uh, where three structures you see new cells integument and funicle meet or merge is called as chalaza so this is the portion where the new cells okay integument and funicle merge okay so this point usually in this inverted ovule present just opposite to the micropyle just opposite to the micropyle next we are going to discuss about the embryo sac otherwise called as female gametophyte the ovule is the megasporangium and embryo sac is the female gametophyte you see within the new cells okay towards the micropylar end what is present is called as embryo sac okay it is more or less oval shaped structure 
So these are the structure we understood uh, or studied so far. One is integument and another one is funiculus and uh, third one is helum, fourth one is rave, fifth one is nucellus, sixth one is micropyle, chalaza, seventh one, eighth one is the embryo sac. All these structures we studied to understand the types of ovule. Here on what basis the classification of ovules are made, orientation of the body of the ovule and also form and position of the micropyle with respect to funicle and chalaza. So these are the basis. So based on this, uh, there are six types of ovules actually in which the four are most important. Number one, orthotropus. Number two, anatropus. Three, hemianotropus. Four, campylotropus. And other two types are ambitropus and sixth one is sarcinotropus. So these are the six types of ovules that we are going to study one by one. Orthotropus ovule, just uh, first understand the position of the body of the ovule with respect to funiculus. Funiculus at the base and followed by the new, uh, that is chalaza, followed by the uh, micropyle. So, micropyle, funicle and chalaza present at the straight vertical line. Example, Piperaceae family members and Polygonaceae family members. Here, it is, the micropyle is present in the distal end of the ovule. Now, hemianotropus. Now, it is just turned. The body of the ovule turned. Okay, right angle to the funiculus. You see, 90 degree it has turned. Okay, with respect to the funicle. So, uh, body of the ovule is transverse in position and right angle to the funiculus. Okay, so the micropyle is in the lateral position. Example, primulase A. Primulase A. Just uh, upright in orthotropus. Here it is turned 90 degree. Still it is turned, you see, curved. The ovule is totally curved, you see. Okay, so micropyle are in this curved and the more or less bean shaped. The ovule is bean shaped. Okay, the embryo sac is slightly curved. All the three, helum, this is the helum, micropyle and chalaza. Okay, they are adjacent to each other. Example, leguminaceae. So the members of the leguminaceae consist of this type of curved ovule. Okay where micropyle, chalaza and uh, hila are adjacent to each other. Now it is still more curved, you see, still more curved in such a way that it makes a, a new cellus, okay, horseshoe shaped structure, okay. The curvature of the ovule leads to horseshoe shaped new cellus. Example, some alismataceae members of the, some members of the alismataceae family. Okay, the distance between the helum chalaza is very less. Helum and chalaza is very less because of the curvature. Okay, next one is anatropus ovule. Here the ovule is still more curved in such a way that the funiculus and the body of the ovule adjacent to each other. This is the inverted ovule and this is present. This is a very important point, a common type of ovules found in dicots and monocots. Okay, this is the inverted type of ovule. Micropyle and funicular come to lie very close to each other. Micropyle and funiculus. This is the micropyle and this is the funiculus very close to each other. Next one is the last one. It is sarcinotropus. Here the funicle growth is more. Okay, to make uh, uh, the ovule to come inside the funiculus itself. So the ovule is surrounded by the funiculus. Now like orthotropus, the micropyle is upright. You see here. Okay, example, Cactaceae, Cactaceae, members of the Cactaceae family. So, how, uh, how can I remember all this, uh, you can ask this, you can remember with the help of this common term, common terms, upside micropyle for orthotropus, transverse body for hemianotropus, curved ovule for campylotropus, horseshoe shaped ampitropus, inverted anatropus, funiculus surround the sarcinotropus, funiculus surround the ovule is for Sarcinotropus, these are the terms by which you can remember. So, I think uh, this video is very useful for you to understand the types of ovule. So, please like this video, share this video, write your comments, subscribe our channel to watch more such videos, press the bell icon to receive notification. Thank you very much for watching.